not. You're never too young to have it because that's what I was told at the beginning is you're too young. You're, this doesn't happen. This is not something that happens to people your age. Jessica Randall noticed a painful lump in one of her breasts in September of 2015. The newlywed was 22 years old. Despite her doctors hoping for the best, it was triple positive breast cancer. Basically, it was a good thing I came in when I did because it could have gone to my lymph nodes, my bones, everything. Doctors wanted to be aggressive with her treatment, giving her 24 hours to decide whether or not to harvest her eggs in the event the treatment compromised her ability to have children in the future. I literally dropped down and prayed and said, hey, you know, I prayed for, you know, guidance on what to do, on where should I go, should I do this, should I not do this, and... I decided not to. Randall went through intense treatment, enduring some brutal side effects. The first round was pretty bad. It ended up on, uh, had four of those. It was the bad stuff, you know, hair falling out, uh, you know, very weak, nauseous, couldn't eat. She ultimately had a double mastectomy, and in fall 2016, she was cancer free. For the next 10 years, she would have to take an oral chemo medication, and doctors said her chances of getting pregnant on her own were slim. You're going to probably, you know, we'll go to a fertility place. You know, there's all these steps on if this doesn't work, this is what we can do. And it was literally just the month mark, and I was pregnant. Randall now has a six-month-old baby boy named Levi. She also works with the HER program at the James Graham Brown Cancer Center, which is for patients 45 and younger who are diagnosed with breast cancer. She hopes her story will empower other young women to follow their instincts and see a doctor if they think something is wrong. Carrie Grace, WLKY News.